Hi everyone, Lego Master Cole here once again with another video. Today, I was at my local GameStop and I actually found this. And I couldn't resist picking up because clones are my absolute favorite. Um, I know I've got a lot of helmets, especially I do have a lot of clone helmets, but I think this one's a really cool one and I wanted to take a look at it, so I figured I would do so here. Um, one thing I know about this helmet is it's not 100% accurate to any particular version of the clone. So, it's not, say, accurate to Revenge of the Sith or Kenobi or any other appearance or the Clone Wars. Um, it's kind of a mixture, actually. Let me make sure I got all this tape cut and we'll take a look at it. That should be all the tape. Alright, so the box is really cool. Kind of lured me in, actually. So let's take a look at the inside. We have a piece of cardboard here. And you got a little booklet. Uh, it does have some sort of electronic functionality. Uh, yeah, it's a it's one of those voice things. If you know these helmets, those are kind of gimmicky and don't really work that great. But it's nice that they include it as a play feature, I guess, for the kids that want to try that. But honestly, I prefer they left those out. But at least now they're good at hiding them. I remember in the original TK helmet, they had this like speaker hole in the battery box exposed. I'm thinking with this helmet, that's not going to be the case. It is wrapped up nicely in this bag, so it's kept really shiny on the inside. Because it is a very shiny clone helmet. There you go. Honestly, decent weight. Uh, really nice looking, really clean looking clone helmet. Uh, I actually really like the look of this. Even if it's not accurate, it's kind of like the ideal clone. It's kind of like how in your mind you remember a clone looking. Because it takes pieces of all the different versions of clone troopers we've seen. And kind of makes them into one. Uh, I guess these are the speakers, which is really cool. Uh, they have nice detailing on those. The helmet just looks beautiful. I mean, like, the shine on it. Uh, these are actually more like the Rogue One TK. Uh, they're actually, like, I don't know. They're not decals. They are actually, like, deep uh, molded in pieces that just actually have, like, depth to them. I don't know how I feel about that. That's the one detail that kind of turns me off a little bit. But all the other details I am A-OK -okay with. I think this little earpiece is the button. Yeah, one of them is. The other one isn't. Actually, this might be the speaker right here because I don't think these details are accurate um, which is okay I mean like, it's on the back at least uh, this looks like the battery box this thing that comes out or something it looks like it comes off I'm not gonna be messing with the batteries on it I don't think I'll ever put batteries in it I'm looking at the interior now the interior is really neat uh, it actually has some details on the inside there which is pretty cool that's one thing I really like about these black series helmets they actually like put detail on the inside of them and you can see through the visor there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on, see how it feels. It's got some like tube details. Oh wow, yeah, it's got some interesting details. I'm gonna turn this around actually so I can show you guys. Uh, the... Yeah, look at that. It's got some really cool detailings, inner workings. You can see through the visor. Yeah, let's put this bad boy on. All right, it's a good fit. Uh, it does have an adjustable head strap as these things usually do. I know I shouldn't be talking with this thing on. You probably can't hear me that good. So I'm going to take this off and go ahead and wrap up the video. So I don't know if you can hear me in the helmet, but uh, it does have like a strapping system, so it's a little bit adjustable, but if your head's too big for it, there's no way to make it fit really unless you pull out all this padding, which is going to be quite a bit of work. But overall, I really like it. I think it's a solid product for a shelf display piece, not for 501st Trooping or Approvability or anything like that. Um, it would be cool for custom if you wanted to custom paint it. I mean, it's a ready-to-go helmet. The only thing you have to do is maybe sand a little bit and then paint. I mean, like ready to go other than that if you want to just display as a white one it's ready to go for sure if you want to do a custom paint job you could do that um and if you just want to do like more casual cosplay not 501st this is the way to go i mean like you're not going to find a cheaper finished helmet for the price and i think it looks pretty damn good honestly all things considered uh thank you guys for watching until next time may the force be with you